Once again, uh, welcome to new problem. This time we're looking at uh, issues connected to economics. And anytime you talk about economics, there's always um, supply and demand. So if I have a graph uh, with the X and the Y axis, of course, the X axis, we're not going to call it uh, just the X axis, but we're going to call it quantity. And then we also have the y-axis, which we're going to call price. So there's a relationship between quantity and price uh, in terms of demand. Uh, as the prices go down, you can see uh, the demand increases. And then as the uh, prices go down, you see, or rather as prices go up, as you increase the prices, you see that the supply increases. So there's an inverse relationship between demand and supply in the sense that uh, price, an increase in price leads to um, a decrease in demand or quantity demanded of a product. Uh, an increase in price, on the other hand, is attractive to suppliers, so it's going to lead to uh, an increase in supply. And that's why the demand graph is downward sloping and uh, the supply graph is upward sloping. Um, our goal in this particular problem is that um, jet fuel prices, jet fuel prices um, decreased. So they went down. Okay, jet fuel prices decreased uh, by about 47%. That's almost like a 50% drop in prices. And so we want to use a four-step analysis process to uh, determine uh, what's going to happen to the uh, equilibrium price, equilibrium price, and equilibrium quantity. So, of course, you're reducing... Uh, the price of something, and that's going to affect uh, equilibrium price and quantity. So think about this position right here as the equilibrium price, and then think about this position right here as the equilibrium quantity. So we want to see what happens if you decrease jet fuel prices. So um, jet fuel, jet fuel influences influences um, jet fuel obviously is going to influence the cost of production um, influences cost of production and uh, the cost of production in this sense is um, air travel right so uh, if you decrease jet fuel obviously you're going to decrease the cost of air travel that's what's going to happen cost of production of producing air travel goes down uh, so that means it's going to affect supply supply of jet fuel increases increases uh, since it's cheaper it's cheaper to produce uh, jet fuel that's what's happening you know you reduce the price of jet fuel and all of a sudden you increase the supply of of jet fuel you decrease the price so as price of jet fuel goes down supply of jet fuel goes up because it's cheaper to produce that uh, and then the next thing so that's one line item we've dealt with two line items you know we've had a gra graph and then now we're discussing what happens when you decrease the price of jet fuel and then now we're going ahead and saying um, if you on the other hand uh, if you, on the other hand, if you, uh, 
if you decrease if you increase supply this means that uh, there is a right shift in the supply graph um, there's a right shift in the supply graph uh, so in terms of our graphs we have uh, we still have the price we still have the quantity on the x-axis uh, we still have demand in the same position but the supply changes position so if if our supply was right here it's going to shift rightwards and then it's going to be at the second point so this is supply number one and this is supply number two because the price of jet fuel has gone down so that means we could supply more um and the outcome of this shift the outcome of this shift is telling uh, because now initially you had an equilibrium price right here but you're gonna have a new equilibrium price you're gonna have a new equilibrium price uh, we've got to show that in the right way so you're gonna have a new equilibrium price we had the previous one and then we had we have a new one right now and uh, it's lower than the previous so there's a downward shift off the equilibrium price and then uh, something else that happens is that we had equilibrium quantity we had equilibrium quantity uh, so Q1 P1 uh, this is P2 the new equilibrium price and then we're also gonna have a new equilibrium quantity the second one and it shows that there's an increase in equilibrium quantity so the outcome is that uh, a decrease in the price of jet fuel uh, minimizes production costs um, in the air travel industry uh, resulting resulting in uh, an increase I mean it's cheaper and supply of jet fuel uh, with a rightward shift uh, uh, in the graph of supply the outcome is a decrease in equilibrium price and an increase in equilibrium quantity an increase in equilibrium quantity so that's the outcome so once again we had a new problem and in this particular problem the uh, jet fuel prices decreased and we wanted to see what happens it decreased by 47 percent so we wanted to see what happens to the equilibrium price in quantity and graphical techniques are helpful in showing this you can see that um, when you decrease jet fuel prices uh, the supply graph uh, uh, shifts to the right because it's cheaper so you're gonna have more jet fuel supplied at the same prices as the equilibrium price goes down and the outcome of that is we now have a new um, equilibrium quantity we have a new equilibrium quantity uh, so there's more production a higher a higher equilibrium quantity and the lower equilibrium price. So hope you enjoy the problem. Feel free to send any questions or comments and have a wonderful day.